Hello, this is Denise from Pink Leopard Software, and today we're going to show you how to install the Leopard Lightning server on your Microsoft Network machine. Let's start by looking at what we supply. Lightning Server is the service at the heart of the Leopard Lightning. It can be controlled through the Services Controller that is part of Control Panel. Lightning Setup installs the service and sets up the entire system. If you use the setup program to install the server, it is set to auto delayed start. This allows the database to instantiate before the server starts. You can control these settings in the control panel. This directory also contains Lightning PPL, which is not supplied but is created when you run Lightning Setup Program. This AES encrypted file contains the setup and license information used by the server. It must be in the same directory as the server. PPL stands for Pink Power License. The license ties the server to the specific machine. Moving to another machine will require another license. There are two visual C++ redistribution programs for Microsoft. If something doesn't work, chances are these are not installed. Installing them will not hurt anything. It's important to note that the Leopard Lightning Setup Program is a 32-bit program, so the x86 version may have to be installed even on 64-bit machines. When PCAP is required, this allows us to take the output from Leopard Lightning and put it in Wireshark compatible files. WinPCAP, which can be installed from the setup program, is not required if Wireshark is already installed on the machine. Please do not attempt to run Wireshark while Leopard Lightning is running. Bad things can happen. Let's take a look at the setup program. Two very important things to remember before running the setup program. Number one, a copy of Microsoft's SQL Server must be installed on the local machine. Do not use an SQL instance on another machine. This will cause Leopard Lightning to enter a circular process and will eventually cause it to fail. If you don't have an SQL Server license sitting around, you can install SQL Server Express, which is free. A link to the installation site is on our website on the Download Leopard Lightning page. Express works just fine but limits you to 10 gig of data. The second very important thing to remember is that you will need administrative login rights. Administrative rights to the SQL server and you must start the setup program as an administrator. Right click on the setup program and select Run as Administrator. So let's fire it up. Please carefully review our license agreement and continue only if it's satisfactory. The first setup screen allows you to register the Lightning server with Pink Leopard. You may use the program for free, but your captures will be limited to 500 packets. If you're just taking it for a test run, you can skip this page. If you have purchased a very reasonably priced license from Pink Leopard, all you need to do is put in the IP address of our licensed server, which is on our website, in the server field and the email address used for the purchase in the proper field. Clicking Get a Key from Pink Leopard will, in a perfect world, register the software. If you have any problems, please contact us for a key. You will need the machine identifier to register by email. Machine identifier uniquely identifies your machine. If a registration key pops up in the field, your software is registered. Good job! The next screen sets up your SQL Server connection. Please remember, the database instance must be on the local machine. After entering the data, click the Test Connection button. If it is successful, you are good to go. If not, do not install the service. It will fail in a big way. 
kaboom! Now we're ready to install the software. Let's start at the last item. Install PCAP. If Whiter Shark is installed on this machine, you may skip this. If not, install it now. Please install it before installing the Lightning service. Let's talk a bit about Uninstall, the currently registered phone or tablet. Right now, Leopard Lightning supports only one phone per server. An enterprise version is under development that will allow you to use multiple devices. There is no process for registering the phone or tablet. The first device to connect to the server is registered. No other device will work. If you change the phones, clicking this button will free up the connection again. For security reasons, we lock this down pretty tight. Also, all information going between the server and the phone or tablet is AES encrypted. You can easily verify this using Leopard Lightning. What a handy program. If everything has gone okay so far, you can install the service and you're done. Congratulations! If you have any problems, questions, concerns, or comments, we would love to hear from you. Please contact me at www.pinkleopardsoftware.com and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Have a great day.